As the day has been going on, we have learned more and more about the alleged second assassination attempt on Donald Trump. And this includes the new bombshell that the Secret Service just dropped on Donald Trump. So we'll go over what that bombshell is here in a second, but first I want to show you this clip of Tommy Tuberville saying that there's no doubt that there will be more attempts on Trump's life before November. He also makes a ton of incorrect claims about this, including that this was the work of the Democrats, but of course that's just not true, so take a look at this. I tell you, we better protect him and his family because something is going to happen before the election. You can see it coming because they know they're losing and they're so afraid of this happening. Uh, they don't want to make any decisions to protect him. They want it to happen naturally. So you think there will be another attempt on Mr. Trump's life? Well, I don't, I, think, I don't think there's any doubt. They can't afford him to win. They've got so many th irons in the fire in terms of doing things illegally against the American taxpayer, Larry. They are going to do everything they possibly can to keep him out of office. Look at all the things that they've already done, uh, they, and, and none of them have worked. I mean, the, the guy is Teflon Don, but I'm going to tell you, I'm worried about his family. I'm worried about him. I'm worried about the America that we have grown up in. He is the only one that has the opportunity and the guts to get something done to save this country from a disaster that's happening every day here in Washington, D.C. and all over the country. One of the other things is um, Vice President Kamala Harris, I mean, she's, she issued about a 10-word statement, I think, yesterday. If I'm wrong, it was about an 8-word statement. But there's no sense, there's no sense of the importance and the urgency. Look. If heavens forbid, I mean this, if heaven forbid there's another attempt on Mr. Trump's life and heaven forbid, God forbid, even worse happens to him, Democrats think they're going to benefit, but this country will just go, I don't know, it'll crater. I mean, things will happen that none of us want to happen to the country because we love America and you are a patriot yourself. This is what I don't understand. This is a time for common sense to speak up, but they won't seem to do it. They're playing politics center type of right up to the edge of the cliff, it seems to me. And they continue to push that, Larry. We, we forget, and a lot, most people forget, I see it every day, we have such a mental illness problem in this country mm. um, that it just is over the top. And they are counting on this to happen. I'm telling you, they're counting on it. They don't want to protect the man. They don't want to protect his family. They, don't want to, they do not want to protect this country. And it's absolutely amazing to me how they, they're getting by with it from the mainstream media. The mainstream media should be standing up today saying, protect our country, protect the people that are running for office in this country. Listen, we get death threats up here all the time. But the death threats that Donald Trump gets are for real because they can't not allow him. Mm. The FBI, the CIA, the the deep state cannot allow him to win this election. And yes, I do believe it's going. They're going to try again. They're going to try again and again until something happens. And that's the reason that we have to have people around him protecting him more and more every day. All right. That was just completely off the walls and was not true at all. In fact, the Democrats are the only ones who are wanting to actually put a stop to gun violence and improve mental health. So while Tommy Tuberville goes up there and points fingers, he ultimately is against anything the Democrats actually suggest to fix the problem. It is just so annoying to hear him and other Republicans spew lies about this. So that is the kind of rhetoric that we're up against when it comes to these assassination attempts. But now, let's go ahead and talk about the new bombshell that the Secret Service just dropped on Donald Trump. Now this comes from an article on Raw Story. The United States Secret Service on Sunday arrested a man whom they believe was trying to assassinate former President Donald Trump while he played golf at his club in Jupiter, Florida. However, it seems that concerns about the security of the Jupiter Club have been well known for weeks now. ABC News' Catherine Fallers reports that the Secret Service had warned Trump against playing at the Jupiter Club after it conducted a threat assessment at multiple Trump properties in the wake of the first attempt on his life in July. Trump Jupiter is a residential course surrounded by houses on most of the holes, so it's much harder to manage from a security perspective, Folders wrote citing unnamed sources. It is unknown if the Secret Service had resolved its security concerns about the Jupiter Club before Trump took in a round of golf on Sunday. So basically, what this report is saying is that Trump was told by the Secret Service, hey, it is not safe to be golfing in this course. And that's because it's a residential course with houses all around it. So Trump was briefed on this by the Secret Service. They said, hey, we did a threat assessment and it's just not safe for you to be doing this. 
And like this article says, it's not fully clear if the security concerns were fully addressed before Trump went here to golf. But seeing as though we had someone right outside the golf course with a gun, clearly those security concerns were not addressed. At least not to the levels that they needed to be. Now what's very interesting about this for me is why would Trump, knowing that he was almost assassinated in July, why would he, after being briefed by the Secret Service, still want to go golfing in a unsecured location? Well, I'm sure there's a few possibilities, one being that maybe he's just super dumb, but I also don't think it's completely unreasonable to say maybe he was anticipating something like this would happen. I'm sure he wanted security to still be pretty tight, so he was probably relatively confident that nothing would happen. But I'm sure in the back of his mind he was saying, yeah, there's a chance that we might find someone on the premises. And when that happens, it's going to become a huge story. And especially right now, this is the perfect time for this to have happened. Because there have been a lot of things that have really made Trump look bad over the past week. And Trump saw a huge boost in popularity after the first assassination attempt. So like I said, I don't think it's fully unreasonable to think that maybe he wanted something like this to happen. But overall, I just think it's so crazy that Trump was briefed on the security issues of this golf course and then still decided to go golfing there regardless. There have been a lot of allegations that he faked the first assassination attempt, and this is definitely not going to help with those allegations. But overall, we're still missing a lot of pieces to this puzzle, so we'll see where things stand once some more information comes out.